Thank you for coming back to the channel and to another segment of Don't Be Telling My Business. Why are you telling my business? Because I can, can, and I can, can, and I can, and I will. Okay, we're going to be talking about Portia Williams just a little bit. Okay, and how her actions have sparked some talk from the Black Lives uh, Movement founders. Yes, they are talking about getting rid of Portia and wanting Portia to apologize. And they're probably looking at Portia Williams' parents, the one that's still living, Diane, because the ones that's deceased is her dad. And they're looking at probably Jose Williams' daughter, Miss Elizabeth O. And her part, she played in this crazy mess of a TV series or show, spinoff show for Portia Williams. She faked the phone until she couldn't do it anymore. She needed a storyline. And they let her be a part of the Black Lives Movement, even though she was high known as a uh, fooling around with a married man but I think they bit off more than they can chew meaning the Black Lives Matters Foundation when they hooked her up into the Black Lives Matter formation of what they were trying to put out there to bring awareness to the men in blue are just killing too many of black men young and old okay and they've had their definitely share with killing women as well so if they thought Portia would be a good fit and could shine some spotlight on their platform or what they were trying to do for Black Lives Matter. Now they are all up in an uproar. They want Portia to come out and apologize, allegedly, for all of her um, things that she did to spark more attention to violence coming to black men unwillingly. Uh, you know, you saw it last, or hopefully you saw it, or you caught a lot of YouTubers' videos about how Portia tried to railroad her boyfriend, her baby's daddy, into getting into a Mexico jail because <laughs> they thought Dennis had put hands on everybody he could find to put hands on. But lo and behold, they spent an extra week in Mexico trying to make those dreams come true, and he was there marching with her on black live matters and then her and her cousin storm is gonna try to put that man in a mexico jail how vile is portia or how vile can portia get that's what the black uh lives matter organization founders are trying to access at this time because she's doing more harm to the black man than what she was trying to do uh on her tv show to show how a black man can easily be degraded, dehumanized, and lied upon and put in jail for no good reason. And it was done by Portia Williams, the uh, do uh, granddaughter of Jose Williams. Okay, all for a show. And it only got one episode, I mean one season. And she comes from good stock. And she knows how it is in the black community and how the blue people, meaning police department, treat black men. And even Lauren got some hits out on Dennis. And Storm's mama got some hits on Dennis. And you can see, um, what's his name? Simon trying to hold her as carefully as he possibly can because Portia get wild. She's a wild woman when she want to hit them balls. And they're using the Jose Foundation uh, to have some premises and some standing in her show by bringing her Aunt Liz to the show. But again, uh, Aunt Liz wasn't stupid. She knew what she was getting into. She know how Bravo get down and put their spin on everything. But she saw that money. She saw that dollar sign. And she wanted to be an actress again, I guess. I don't know. Because to me, she was a train wreck herself trying to talk about Portia behind her back. Knowing she going to see the footage later on. And she probably was thinking, why in the hell did her brother marry such trash as Diane? And, and uh having offspring such as Portia to ruin their legacy okay I'm like the son in that situation meaning Portia and her son I mean her brother um and he ain't got no business he don't want nothing to do with Portia her show uh, well he probably is you know in good stands with Portia but he just know how Portia get down he know how she was gonna be making allegations against um uh, the Pied Piper over there and how he had mistreated her and she's taking no accountability 
whatsoever on her part she played by going up there seeing him but because she was on you know real housewives of atlanta she got a little notoriety uh got a little success and and um made money and they liked her she was a fan favorite and bravo uh executives liked her as well or they wouldn't have gave me her show okay which they definitely needed because real housewives of atlanta ratings were really suffering but Portia forgot she had hooked up with three good famous uh, philanthropists as well as activist women that really truly believe in black lives, especially black men, okay, and the mothers that birthed those boys, all right, and her brother by um, her mother as well as her dad. Uh, he wanted to do with her. She, he knew his sister was rough around the edges, but she had a sensual, sexual side as well, and she loved the camera, and that's why she's up there looking like a hoe. Okay, Barbara brought that on out. She was probably one already to begin with, but who's saying? I'm just making an observation. But she has definitely put shit on, and I mean manure feces on the legacy that um jose williams was trying to build in the community and what he stood for and what he was about and he was no stupid man he was very educated post-secondary education he was a chemist and he you know was out there trying to make it right for black men you know not to be seen as boys or some object but as men equal to the white man you know what i'm saying equal footing equal standing because they definitely had equal education after all this stuff with the civil rights movement got past a certain degree and they start looking at black people as humans and not uh livestock or things that they could own and of course Martin Luther King uh her grandfather Jose walked with him was uh one of his first lieutenants in their little reigns of the S or the SSLC um organization that Martin Luther King had founded and was a part of and then you know I guess he is turning around in his grave uh to see Portia his granddaughter know better see her aunt up there cutting up you know fighting black men and you know they're gonna want to uh, arrest the man when any time they can get a chance but i don't know it's equal opportunity on blacks women as well they ready to take us both down shove us in a uh uh, or say and then sometimes we come up missing or damaged or dead and they don't act like they have a clue no cameras or working or anything so we just another lost soul but that was different from what jose williams her grandfather was standing for he was in the pursuit of freedom and equality for black people but portia is in the pursuit of portia you see how this is working out for her okay so i wonder you know, Dennis stood by her. He knew he had a fool. He knew he was dealing with a crazy nut. But he loved her. He had a baby by her. And, you know, she was good for TV as well to bring his notoriety up. But he didn't need much because he's a hard working man. He knew the businesses of what he wanted to do in and out. And he has been definitely successful. Check him out on Rolling Stone. Got a great ad. But then they had Portia on Rolling Stone too. Maybe because they thought she was doing something. And straight out. And shout outs to Straight from the A. Use her little um picture that she used from somebody else but she put her name on it so she is a blogger youtube blogger she has her own podcast go over and watch her i tend to partake of her stuff and i like her you know she gives a different spin and she has a high following so if you want to go over there and get some more entertainment news you can use check her out okay but like i said they might toss the baton to lauren if she gets her shit together because right now she's following up the ass of her sister Portia okay uh steps no not step sister let me bring back that back half sister she's trying to emulate her she's trying to be her and still trying to find out where she fits in in Portia world if indeed at all so she's playing both fences at the time she wants to be with Aunt Liz she wants to be groomed to be the next spokesperson I guess for the Jose Williams Foundation and try to I don't know level up on that side but she still likes the highlight of being in a, a rated good rated television sitcom show such as real housewives of atlanta so she's been Portia's sidekick this that, and that. I, I, I don't know they might just need to make her a housewife or a house you know honorary housewife because she's just been there forever hell they made marlo one they can definitely make lauren one then we can see well Portia probably won't be there <laughs> so it could be a seat if um 
Lauren wanted to do so. But see, they don't like what Portia has been doing. She's been messing with senior citizens over there. And that's Dennis McKinley, mom. She's trying to get in a fight. Dennis said she launched at her. I tend to believe Dennis. Uh, Miss Liz, I don't know what she is. I think she's going through Alzheimer's or dementia, to tell you the truth. Because at first she was trying to, she didn't know the couples that were there. They weren't her family. She ain't know of them. But now that I hear after the season is closing, Don, the one that she had actually said, who are you? Why are you here? You're not family. She is supposed to be letting him do her hair now. He said that on, um, what was that? Um, the house of Aaron. He had interviewed Dom and wanted to get some tea over there. But not that boy was just damn lying. And he he would sign up again if they asked him for the drama and for the paycheck. But yeah, he had said that he was doing uh, Auntie Liz's hair now. I said, oh, hopefully it ain't pro bono. You need to be getting your dollars, coins, or whatever you charge, son. Because he's supposed to be a hairdresser. But I don't know who can help Porsche at this time. Uh, definitely not President Obama. He ain't gonna get his hands sticky, and Michelle probably already tooting up her nose. And then you got other followers, um, that Portia was associated with only because of her dad's dad and who he was in the community. I think he is probably turning over in his grave, saying, "What kind of child did my son raise, and what kind of stock is her mother about? Don't she know?" What type of family we are, what we were involved in, what we have evolved to. Did she not remember? Did we not teach her well enough? And I'm like, maybe not, Jose, because it doesn't seem like she was in too many of those marching <laughs> pictures. Uh, if you really want to know the truth of it all. Maybe she felt like she wasn't good enough or your, or your son didn't bring her around enough to fully understand the capacity of what type of legacy and family she had been born into. Okay, you definitely rubbed heads with the mighty Martin Luther King Jr., the civil rights leader, uh, the son, the, 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 wait a minute, the uh, thunder, son of thunder when it came to the civil rights movement. And I'm pretty sure she may have come across Malcolm X. Or she might have heard you all talking about Malcolm X and his ways of dealing with pr police brutality and how the white man treated the black man. Because he was all about them hands. He was all about them weapons. He said whatever means necessary to bring peace and equality to the black race, he was down with. But towards the ending of his life, he kind of learned and leaned on to the, philosoph well, the philosophies of Dr. Martin Luther King with the nonviolent theory. But with the uh, uh, pistols and the holsters, you know, gunning for if things went left. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I love them both. I understand where both of them were coming from. Uh, Gandhi's theory that Dr. Martin Luther King had adopted and uh, definitely embodied was more Christ-like. But like I tell people, even Christ went to war. Or the Lord went to war. Even we had to be freed from the enslavement of the Egyptians. Okay. We had to go to war. So that's why I kind of leaned it a lot more on Malcolm X's theory. And his philosophies of getting what was ours. And you know whatever means necessary. But uh, Portia. I, like I said. She cannot have been a really a good family staple over there with the Williams, uh, Jose Williams side because it's, it, I just can't see her just throwing it all to the wind and wanting to become like a sex bunny, a sex kitten something that Hugh Hefner from the Playboy section would love to groom and put out there as one of his bunnies because that's all Portia has been doing from the early part of her life to this elder part of her life which is 40 years old going on um, 50 because she got more years behind her than she has ahead of her and then she has a daughter okay that's gonna be like in a blink of her eye she's gonna be a teenager she's gonna emulate somebody and I wonder who is she gonna emulate okay is it gonna be because uh, I, I look at Elizabeth and I know she's an activist I know she's an actress and I know she um she she's an author but at her age i can't see her even trying to call herself wanting to be on a ratchet show such as what portia was going to outline for them and give them the play-by-play -play or how they were going to be exposed on the show 
I, I just don't she's too much of an intelligent woman to say she didn't know something was going to be a setup down the line and how she portrayed herself in the um the taping she was more seen to me as a busybody as a person that l wanted to talk and really didn't know what the hell she was talking about because she said she didn't know them so i'm like i'm like the rest of them you got dementia i mean you saying you don't even know portia and miss uh lauren but then on the other hand you were trying to get to know them so i'm like what is it which one i'm like are you taking your medicine you know what i'm saying and i probably would have had to say that on camera what do you mean you don't know her that's your granddaughter i mean your your niece you never had her over for family gatherings never had a conversation with her you know with some learning behind it or, or you never gave her no successful tools that you felt her mother didn't give her or her dad didn't give her which was your brother i mean portia just want to live a life she want a house big as the white house okay and i have to say kenya moore might have been right when she just wanted to use this as a storyline she didn't really take it very seriously you know because um uh, jose williams could have been on a lot of talk shows and and made money and and been a very big lucrative businessman if he wanted to because he had the civil rights movement behind him Martin luther king could have been the same thing but it wasn't what they were put on this earth to do and i just find it very hard that portia would think she is supposed to be a little thought running out here a little hoe uh, uh, uh portraying herself like a hoe because i've shown y'all several pictures where I wouldn't have thought about at my age to be posing in no sheet and sitting up in some dirty sh chair of a, a, a throne like uh and, and it just got a sheet on me i mean that's playboy material you want to be a playboy bunny girl you should have hooked up with hugh hefner and he could have definitely exposed you and put you out there baby girl if that's what you wanted to do but then again you know it's just is what it is you got into this crazy idea that she was going to have a show uh, and it was going to be a hit and it wasn't going to do any detriment to your career or your career choice you chose. But in essence, you just made Simon look good in the very end and you made Dennis look good, even better. And this man is in his 60s getting a tattoo, the only tattoo that from what the bloggers are saying he has on his body he put it up you <laughs> i'm like girl is he gonna be there for you when all the lights have been turned off all of the glamour side has been gone past you is he gonna love you or he's gonna be one of them men that pack all your stuff up put it in a moving van and move it to your next destination which was your home you left your mother to live in prior to you getting this uh show together or whatever you're going to plan on doing with him because i really don't think you all going to get married i think it's going to be something major that happens and you're going to feel not that you can't marry him okay and your brother he ain't going to be nowhere around this bullshit because he knew it was bullshit and that's who's happening he loved making uh pretty women into sex objects sex toys and parade them around with hardly no clothes on and you would have fit right on in there but i guess he was too old or not interested in your kind or your color i don't know oh girl i don't know but if you want to make that dollar dollar that type of way like it seems like you did or you still do he would have been very politic political for you to be aligned with but you know you have these people you have these women that's willing to stand up for what's right and not to put black men or black boys in a situation to cause them harm but what you did that the black lives matter gonna be on your behind i hear uh and wanting an apology is because you put dennis mckinley out there in mexico okay now you know mexico don't play down now and they jail cells are not nice and they police are not even nicer okay they're not nice portia and you was willing to let your baby dad sit up in jail in a mexico jail because your wayward loud mouth cousin said he did this that and the third and we all know what dennis being a black ball-headed man very black with the melanin going on if he did any infraction of going up somebody's head strangling them choking them throwing them to the floor punching them he would have been in jail all of the good graces because you push buttons same injustice that's for trayvon martin 
a police officer off duty security guard whomever thought he took the right measures because he felt that Trayvon was a threat same thing you sitting up there doing you and your cousin thinking Dennis was a threat when he said you tried to lunge at his mama now he always said he loved you he loved uh, mama Gina and he loved his baby and he's torn between the three of y'all but he don't want no violence or no harm to come to any one of you all so he was stepping in to take the blows that you and Storm and anybody else wanted to come to him now I can say he probably did grab Storm's uh, lace front off her head because she probably came too much in his personal space. Was it wrong? Was it right? You just had to be there. And I, I can say, you know, during, during the heat of the matter and everybody coming at you, it's all fair love and war. You know what I'm saying? Just don't pull out any pistols, no knives and there like that because we can all see another day. We'll just be bruised. We'll just be sore. But these women, such as Maya, Maya Angelou, um, Coretta Scott King, uh, Dorothy Hyatt, Hyatt uh, Simone, uh, let me see. Hell, y'all shopped. They did too much work for the good for black folks to excel. And you said that Gregory told jokes and talked over your dad's funeral portion. What would he think of you now? I think that Gregory did, y'all, ain't he? Can't remember while I'm doing this video. Y'all get in the comments and let me know. But I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have been fond of your actions of going against your... Uh, black man or your daddy's i mean your baby girl's dad okay uh i think jesse jackson still running around here ain't that jesse jackson yeah that's not andrew y'all that's jesse jackson i don't think he would like you too much now and I definitely if sitting in portier would have lived a little longer because he just passed i think in this month uh this year he probably wouldn't think too much of you either that's why these three women allegedly are coming out trying to seek you out for you to go and definitely apologize to them, their organization, and um, any other infractions they feel you deserve. Because women such as these lovely, gracious women, they got cheated on too, Portia. Okay, that's Dorothy Hyatt and the other one was Coretta Scott King. And really probably all of the ladies that were girlfriends or, or wives to these civil rights leaders, they probably got messed around on too because these wayward dick men had their idea of thinking they could get away with something behind closed doors. But even though mistresses didn't really try to come out back then in the 50s and 60s, we still knew about them. You know what I'm saying? They were still a known thing, but they weren't supposed to come out and embarrass, you know, uh, the movement or anything regarding the movement because it was just that important. But you would have thought men would have kept their penises in their pockets, too, and just brought it home to their girlfriends or their wives. But, you know, eye candy is just eye candy out there, I guess. I'm not a man, so I couldn't really know. But they always holler. They have their needs. <laughs> I'm like, really? Well, afford, be able to afford all of us. Okay? And keep us in a vibe of luxury that everyone deserves to have. If the first lady going to get it, then the second, third, fourth, fifth, why she get it as well. Girlfriend, mistress, whatever. Okay? Take care of everybody and the children that are involved. And pretty much let the women know that they're going to be more women involved with that one dig okay that's all i'm saying so portia was out there giving black power and she was tearing down the very essence of the idea or ideology she was standing up for and i'm with jamie Foxx. act like you got some sense and sit your butt down okay give up the activism especially if it's going to take a child away from their parent that who happens to be black Okay, Angela Davis didn't give up, and she didn't take no shit, and she definitely didn't like black men locked up. Rosa Paul, she didn't have a man, I, well, yeah, I think she did have a man, a husband, but she just got tired of sitting in the back of the bus, and she wanted to sit in the front of the bus. She wanted to sit down. She made a stance. 
She didn't talk about her husband in the street if he was fooling around on her. Same thing with Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. They had wives too. Allegedly they had affairs too. But did you think their wives came out, publicized, and put it on front street and tried to put them in jail? When the man was already trying to do a good job and was doing a damn good job at it too. Okay, they didn't need your help, Portia. They didn't need the help of their wives trying to put them in jail. Meaning Coretta Scott King and um, Malcolm X's wife. Alright, they were just beautiful people, beautiful spirits, and they knew the Lord. And they knew how to deal with things behind closed doors. Okay, and that's Nina Simone. And I'm pretty sure she had her little tryst with uh, men too, and they probably cheated on her as well. But the bigger picture was for all black minority people to have an equal voice, an equal standing in uh, the world today. And Portia, 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 Portia. You blew that up. <laughs> you set fire to that because you were only thinking about yourself and you being princess of thought land. Okay? So you're going to have to make a decision, honey, because whatever you tried to build, somebody is definitely doing a good job in tearing that down for you. Now, if that's self-destruction, you're doing it on your own, I don't know. Okay? Because it just is what it is. You said it so many times out your mouth, and you got to choose between fame and fortune and your family, your legacy, because people are calling you out, and they're calling you out big time. All right, Black Lives Matter girls are looking for you, and I wonder, uh, after they get finished with you, could it be that Aunt Liz is going to ostracize you as well? Put you like in a scarlet red letter. Like you can't be trusted. You're not worthy to be a part of their family. Their legacy. Because you have done too much damage. And it's unforgivable. But even the Lord say. You have to forgive. And move on. That's the best convenience of the Lord. So even though. Portia probably cut you a nice check for being on the show. You still have plans. To ostracize her that's just the feeling that I get I'm getting because she has tore the fabric of what you have tried to keep to keep alive or keep alive that your father built for you all to be uh, people seeing in good standings and trying to help the community and with what Portia has done and you have allowed yourself to be a part of is the opposite of what your dad found it for uh, his family and legacy and left to you to uphold and to continue the good works so now I think you're going to do damage control Miss Liz and you can hold some of the fault yourself because you weren't shown too bright and too um, knowing, what you, knowing what you were supposed to be doing and saying on the show either it seems like you were putting Portia down here and there and then you call yourself at this last episode that's going to come up this Sunday hopefully uh you trying to get in Simon behind and you even told Portia that Simon should have did better in protecting you from a lot of these things that happened on the Mexico trail but he didn't but he sure got your behind straight Miss Liz at the end he told you to stay the hell out of his business with Portia and himself and their relationship and the way your face dropped on that floor and you was trying to pick it back up and regather yourself <laughs> child I couldn't do nothing but chuckle and I was like right on Simon get that old woman in her place okay because she needs to have training alright I would have rather her had a scene with her husband coming on the trip and he handling, you know, Dennis and Simon and, and whatever from a perspective, from an OG perspective and a seasoned individual. But honey, uh, Simon was matching uh, old age with old age because what it is, they say allegedly, he's in his 60s. And I'm pretty sure... Um, What's her name? Mama, uh, Aunt Liz is in her 70s, somewhat. So he was having a true conversation with another seasoned individual. And he was basically saying, stay the fuck out of our business. That's what I would appreciate from you all. And it seems like the three ladies who founded the lot, uh, Black Lives Matter, they're saying, Portia, to come correct, apologize, and then we would cut ties. 
when it comes to her mom and dad. But the dad gone, okay? He don't really care because he ain't, he ain't doing too much up here but uh, be a womanizer and break hearts and stuff like that. So I don't know. Uh, Miss Diane gonna have to deal with the fall back, the blowback. But as long as Portia cutting them checks, I don't think she gives a shit. Alright, but that's all I have for this video, guys. Do you think Elizabeth O, uh, the pa the Mont Montreach, Mont Montreach of the family, the Jose Williams clan, that side of the family, is going to ostracize Portia Williams, or uh, name only, because she don't think she is a part of the Williams clan. And do you think she's going to have mercy on Lauren, uh, Portia's half-sister, to still try to educate her in the ways and the comings and the goings of the Williams legacy and family or do you think her and Lundy Lundy Portia's cousin would go on off in the sunset and play like they never knew Portia at all <laughs> and I mean at all all right guys y'all like it love gotta have more please don't hesitate but come on over to the house let's have a conversation drinks eat a little bit and just chew the fat on what's happening out there in that uh celebrity world realm and the youtube streets okay got it get good got it and i'm ready to make more videos for y'all to be entertained and for y'all to entertain me okay and i love it when y'all get in those comments and express y'all's opinions and i love uh commenting back to you all so continue to do that okay that's how we keep the conversation going and uh don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel so you can come home or come over and visit me when you ain't got nothing else to do or you just want to catch up on the news that you can use over here at the house okay but i'll see y'all later i'll see y'all next video y'all take care peace